So guys, from the parking area, just follow this road out 0.5 miles to the pocket road. Take a right on, left on that, and go up 0.1, and then the trail will be on your right. All right, over now. All right, guys. I got a better mark than not on the trail. This is the beginning of a short road walk, 0.1 miles up to the trailhead at Pocket Road. This is Pocket Road here. We just came out of Keon Falls parking area. So take a left here and then point one up. Look at your right, you'll see the trail go off to the into the woods. All right guys, over. All right guys, this is Pocket Roll Trailhead. We're heading on over to Snake Creek Gap. Got a decent parking area here. And Pinhoti just goes up this gravel road for a bit. All right, over and out. Got a little picnic area campsite. Every time I've seen that type of box, it was for a campsite at least. But the trail just goes right by the pond, and I'm guessing goes the other way. All right, over. Yeah, we. Damn it, we were off the trail a little bit. How did we get off the trail? I have no clue. No turns. See, so where's that go then? That's the trail. All right, guys, you come over to this. Looks like we got off the trail just a bit, but it couldn't have been too far. But we saw blazes just around the corner, so this must be a new rerouted section here. National Trail Days, thank you, 2004. So maybe my guide didn't have it, but it comes to this intersection. Yeah. So basically, guys, there's a blaze there, a blaze straight ahead, and a blaze to the left. So they've rerouted this recently. That's a, a pocket road. So they've they've rerouted it somewhere. Further down pocket road. Yeah, I guess I don't know. But we're gonna go to Snake Creek, so we're gonna. At 11.8, you come to the first water source that I would pull from. Oh. All right, over and out. At 11.85, you got a nice spring crossing here. No, it's the same one. I'm just recording it. Hopefully, you can find a little camping spot here somewhere, but I haven't seen one. That would be a really nice camping spot for you. Oh, there's maybe one up here. But I found the Georgia Pinhoti Trail. It doesn't have as many designated camping spots as the Alabama does but yeah I guess you could f force a stealth camp somewhere here but that's a really good spring even in the middle of summer it was coming out beautifully moving beautifully all right all right guys the trail dead ends you on to this old forest road don't go left you'll see the signs right at the edge just go right and you uphill all right all right, guys, a little over point one past the trail. You'll see this is on the ground. The trail leaves the old forest road, takes a hard switch back here. Continues climbing. All right, guys. Over. All right, guys, I made it to the top of Horn Mountain. Yippee! Should be all downhill from here to uh, Snake Creek Gap. All right. Over. All right, guys. At 13.3, at you get a nice little campsite here. And the trail just goes along this crest here. Short up and down, so after you make it up to the Horn Mountain. All right, over now. All right, guys. So from the crest line of Horn Crest, a little ridge line there, the trail is virtually 90% downhill, a few switchbacks. It's moderately aggressive on the downhill. There's some moderate sections where you're going downhill pretty quickly. Nothing too bad. And now, as you can probably hear, we've made it to 136 Snake Creek Gap.
roads are right there. This is about 15.7 miles. Alright All right, guys, we made it to Snake Creek Gap. It is exactly 18 point, uh, 15, sorry. It is 15.8, 15 15.8, 15 just in case you didn't hear me over the cars. And the trail just goes right across. Alright, over and out. There's a very large parking area here. Alright, over and out.